ASP.NET ASP.NET is a server-side web application framework designed for web development to produce dynamic web pages. It was developed by Microsoft to allow programmers to build dynamic websites, web applications and web services. It was first released in January 2002 with version 1.0 of the .NET framework, and is the successor to Microsoft's Active Server Pages technology. ASP.NET is built on the common language runtime, allowing programmers to write ASP.NET code using any supported .NET language. The ASP.NET SOAP extension framework allows ASP.NET components to process SOAP messages. History After four years of development, and a series of beta releases in 2000 and 2001, ASP.NET 1.0 was released on January 5, 2002 as part of version 1.0 of the .NET framework. Even prior to the release, dozens of books had been written about ASP.NET, and Microsoft promoted it heavily as part of his platform for web services. Scott Guthrie became the product unit manager for ASP.NET, and development continued apace with version 1.1 being released on April 24, 2003 as a part of Windows Server 2003. This release focused on improving ASP.NET support for mobile devices. Characteristics ASP.NET web pages, known officially as web forms, are the main building blocks for application development. Web forms are contained in files with ASPX extension. These files typically contain static, X, HTML markup, as well as markup defining server-side web controls and user controls where the developers place all the RC content for the web page. Additionally, dynamic code which runs on the server can be placed in a page within a block less than percent, dynamic code, percent greater than, which is similar to other web development technologies such as PHP, JSP, and ASP. With ASP.NET Framework 2.0, Microsoft introduced a new code behind model which allows static text to remain on the ASPX page, while dynamic code remains in an ASPX VB or ASPX CS or ASPX FS file, depending on the programming language used. Directives A directive is a special instruction on how ASP.NET should process the page. The most common directive is less than percent at page percent greater than which can specify many attributes used by the ASP.NET page parser and compiler. Examples Code behind solutions The above tag is placed at the beginning of the ASPX file. The code file property of the at page directive specifies the file, CS or VB or FS acting as the code behind while the inherits property specifies the class from which the page is derived. In this example, the at page directive is included in sample code behind ASPX, then sample code behind ASPX CS acts as the code behind for this page. Source language C Source language Visual Basic .NET. In this case, the page load method is called every time the ASPX page is requested. The programmer can implement event handlers at several stages of the page execution process to perform processing. User controls User controls are encapsulations of sections of pages which are registered and used as controls in ASP.NET, etc. Custom controls Programmers can also build custom controls for ASP.NET applications. Unlike user controls, these controls do not have an ASCX markup file, having all their code compiled into a dynamic link library DLL, file. Such custom controls can be used across multiple web applications and Visual Studio projects. Rendering technique ASP.NET uses a visited composites rendering technique. During compilation, the template ASPX file is compiled into initialization code which builds a control tree, the composite, representing the original template. Literal text goes into instances of the literal control class, 
and server controls are represented by instances of a specific control class. The initialization code is combined with user written code, usually by the assembly of multiple partial classes, and results in a class specific for the page. The page doubles as the root of the control tree. Actual requests for the page are processed through a number of steps. First, during the initialization steps, an instance of the page class is created and the initialization code is executed. This produces the initial control tree which is now typically manipulated by the methods of the page in the following steps. As each node in the tree is a control represented as an instance of a class, the code may change the tree structure as well as manipulate the properties methods of the individual nodes. Finally, during the rendering step a visitor is used to visit every node in the tree asking each node to render itself using the methods of the visitor. The resulting HTML output is sent to the client. After the request has been processed, the instance of the page class is discarded and with it the entire control tree. This is a source of confusion among novice ASP.NET programmers who rely on the class instance members that are lost with every page request response cycle. State Management ASP.NET applications are hosted by a web server and are accessed using the stateless HTTP protocol. As such, if an application uses state file interaction, it has to implement state management on its own. ASP.NET provides various functions for state management. Conceptually, Microsoft treats state as GUI state. Problems may arise if an application needs to keep track of data state. For example, a finite state machine which may be in a transient state between requests, lazy evaluation, or which takes a long time to initialize. State management in ASP.NET pages with authentication can make web scraping difficult or impossible. Application Application state is held by a collection of shared user-defined variables. These are set and initialized when the application on start event fires on the loading of the first instance of the application and are available until the last instance exits. Application state variables are accessed using the application's collection, which provides a wrapper for the application state. Application state variables are identified by name. Session state Server-side session state is held by a collection of user-defined session variables that are persistent during a user session. These variables, accessed using the session collection, are unique to each session instance. The variables can be set to be automatically destroyed after a defined time of inactivity even if the session does not end. Client-side user session is maintained by either a cookie or by encoding the session ID in the URL itself. ASP.NET supports three modes of persistence for server-side session variables. ASP.NET session state enables you to store and retrieve values for a user as the user navigates ASP.NET pages in a web application. HTTP is a stateless protocol. This means that a web server treats each HTTP request for a page as an independent request. The server retains no knowledge of variable values that were used during previous requests. ASP.NET session state identifies requests from the same browser during a limited time window as a session, and provides a way to persist variable values for the duration of that session. By default, ASP.NET session state is enabled for all ASP.NET applications. Alternatives to session state include the following. Application state, which stores variables that can be accessed by all users of an ASP.NET application. Profile properties, which persists user values in a data store without expiring them. ASP.NET caching, which stores values in memory that is available to all ASP.NET applications. View state, which persists values in a page. Cookies, the query string and fields on an HTML form that are available from an HTTP request. For a comparison of different state management options, CASP.NET State Management Recommendations Session View State View State refers to the page level state management mechanism, 
utilized by the HTML pages emitted by ASP.NET applications to maintain the state of the web form controls and widgets. The state of the controls is encoded and sent to the server at every form submission in a hidden field known as view state. The server sends back the variables so that, when the page is re-rendered, the controls render at their last state. At the server side, the application may change the view state, if the processing requires a change of state of any control. The states of individual controls are decoded at the server, and are available for use in ASP.NET pages using the view state collection. The main use for this is to preserve form information across postbacks. View state is turned on by default and normally serializes the data in every control on the page regardless of whether it is actually used during a postback. This behavior can, and should, be modified, however, as view state can be disabled on a per control, per page, or server-wide basis. Developers need to be wary of storing sensitive or private information in the view state of a page or control, as the base64 string containing the view state data can easily be deserialized. By default, view state does not encrypt the view state value. Encryption can be enabled on a server-wide and server-specific basis, allowing for a certain level of security to be maintained. Server-side caching ASP.NET offers a cache object that is shared across the application and can also be used to store various objects. The cache object holds the data only for a specified amount of time and is automatically cleaned after the session time limit elapses. Other Other means of state management that are supported by ASP.NET are cookies, caching, and using the query string. Template Engine when first released, ASP.NET lacked a template engine. Because the .NET framework is object-oriented and allows for inheritance, many developers would define a new base class that inherits from system.web UI page, write methods there that render HTML, and then make the pages in their application inherit from this new class. While this allows for common elements to be reused across a site, it adds complexity and mixes source code with markup. Furthermore, this method can only be visually tested by running the application, not while designing it. Other developers have used include files and other tricks to avoid having to implement the same navigation and other elements in every page. ASP.NET 2.0 introduced the concept of master pages, which allow for template-based page development. A web application can have one or more master pages, which beginning with ASP.NET 2.0, can be nested. Master templates have placeholder controls, called content placeholders to denote where the dynamic content goes, as well as HTML and JavaScript shared across child pages. Child pages use those content placeholder controls, which must be mapped to the placeholder of the master page that the content page is populating. The rest of the page is defined by the shared parts of the master page, much like a mail merge in a word processor. All markup and server controls in the content page must be placed within the content placeholder control. When a request is made for a content page, ASP.NET merges the output of the content page with the output of the master page, and sends the output to the user. The master page remains fully accessible to the content page. This means that the content page may still manipulate headers, change title, configure caching etc. If the master page exposes public properties or methods, for example for setting copyright notices, the content page can use these as well. Other files Other file extensions associated with different versions of ASP.NET include Directory structure in general, the ASP.NET directory structure can be determined by the developer's preferences. Apart from a few reserved directory names, the site can span any number of directories. The structure is typically reflected directly in the URLs. Although ASP.NET provides means for intercepting the request at any point during processing, the developer is not forced to funnel requests through a central application or front controller. The special directory names, 
from ASP.NET 2.0 on R. Performance ASP.NET aims for performance benefits over other script based technologies, including classic ASP, by compiling the server side code to one or more DLL files on the web server. This compilation happens automatically the first time a page is requested, which means the developer need not perform a separate compilation step for pages. This feature provides the ease of development offered by scripting languages with the performance benefits of a compiled binary. However, the compilation might cause a noticeable but short delay to the web user when the newly edited page is first requested from the web server, but will not again unless the page requested is updated further. The ASPX and other resource files are placed in a virtual host on an Internet Information Services server, or other compatible ASP.NET servers. See other implementations, below. The first time a client requests a page, the .NET framework parses and compiles the file, s, into a an ET assembly and sends the response. Subsequent requests are served from the DLL files. By default ASP.NET will compile the entire site in batches of 1000 files upon first request. If the compilation delay is causing problems, the batch size or the compilation strategy may be tweaked. Developers can also choose to pre-compile their code behind files before deployment, using Microsoft Visual Studio, eliminating the need for just-in-time compilation in a production environment. This also eliminates the need of having the source code on the web server. It also supports pre-compiled text. Extension Microsoft has released some extension frameworks that plug into ASP.NET and extend its functionality. Some of them are ASP.NET compared with classic ASP ASP.NET simplifies developers' transition from Windows application development to web development by offering the ability to build pages composed of controls similar to a Windows user interface. A web control, such as a button or label, functions in very much the same way as its Windows counterparts. Code can assign its properties and respond to its events. Controls know how to render themselves, whereas Windows controls draw themselves to the screen. Web controls produce segments of HTML and JavaScript which form parts of the resulting page sent to the end user's browser. ASP.NET encourages the programmer to develop applications using an event-driven GUI model, rather than in conventional web scripting environments like ASP and PHP. The framework combines existing technologies such as JavaScript with internal components like ViewState to bring persistent, into request, state to the inherently stateless web environment. Other differences compared to classic ASP are Compiled code means applications run faster with more design time errors trapped at the development stage, significantly improved runtime error handling, making use of exception handling using try-catch blocks. Similar metaphors to Microsoft Windows applications such as controls and events, an extensive set of controls and class libraries, as well as user-defined controls, allow the rapid building of applications. Layout of these controls on a page is easier because most of it can be done visually in most editors. ASP.NET uses the multi-language abilities of the .NET Common Language Runtime, allowing web pages to be coded in VB.NET, C, J. Delphi.net, Chrome, etc. Ability to cache the whole page or just parts of it to improve performance. Ability to use the code behind development model to separate business logic from presentation. Ability to use true object-oriented design for programming pages and controls. If an ASP.NET application leaks memory, the ASP.NET runtime unloads the app domain hosting the erring application and reloads the application in a new app domain. Session state in ASP.NET can be saved in a Microsoft SQL Server database or in a separate process running on the same machine as the web server or on a different machine. That way session values are not lost when the web server is reset or the ASP.NET worker process is recycled. Versions of ASP.NET prior to 2.0 were criticized for their lack of standards compliance. 
the generated HTML and JavaScript sent to the client browser would not always validate against W3C ECMA standards. In addition, the framework's browser detection feature sometimes incorrectly identified web browsers other than Microsoft's own Internet Explorer as down-level, and returned HTML JavaScript to these clients with some of the features removed, or sometimes crippled or broken. In version 2.0 however, all controls generate valid HTML 4.0, XHTML 1.0, the default, or XHTML 1.1 output, depending on the site configuration. Detection of standards compliant web browsers is more robust and support for cascading style sheets is more extensive. Web server controls, these are controls introduced by ASP.NET for providing the UI for the web form. These controls are state-managed controls and are WYSIWYG controls. Criticism On IIS 6.0 and lower, pages written using different versions of the ASP framework cannot share session state without the use of third-party libraries. This criticism does not apply to ASP.NET and ASP applications running side-by-side -side on IIS 7. With IIS 7.0, Modules may be run in an integrated pipeline that allows modules written in any language to be executed for any request. Development tools Several available software packages exist for developing ASP.NET applications. Frameworks It is not essential to use the standard web forms development model when developing with ASP.NET noteworthy frameworks designed for the platform include Base1 Foundation Component Library, BFC, is a Radian framework for building .NET database and distributed computing applications. .NET Nuke is an open source solution which comprises both a web application framework and a content management system which allows for advanced extensibility through modules skins, and providers, Castle Monorail, an open-source MVC framework with an execution model similar to Ruby on Rails. The framework is commonly used with Castle Active Record, an ORM layer built on Hibernate, Spring.net, a port of the Spring framework for Java. Survey Project is an open-source web-based survey and form engine framework written in ASP.NET and C. Carbon MVVM is an open source MVVM framework based on ASP.NET. Versions The ASP.NET releases history tightly correlates with the .NET framework releases. Other implementations The Mono project supports everything IN.NET 4.5 except WPF, WF, Limited WCF and limited ASP.NET 4.5 async stack. ASP.NET can be run with Mono using one of three options, Apache hosting using the mod Mono module, fast CGI hosting, and XSP. Notes Show number 19, Live. From the PDC. The MSDN Show. Microsoft. November 15, 2001. Retrieved April 20, 2008. Staff, November 2001. Overview of ASP.NET and Web Forms. Microsoft. Retrieved June 5, 2011. McDonald and Spusta 2005, pages 63. Code behind versus code in line. Microsoft.NET Framework. Microsoft. Archived from the original on November 11, 2010. Retrieved November 22, 2010. ASP.NET Web Page Syntax Overview. Microsoft.NET Framework. Microsoft. Retrieved November 22, 2010. ABC Info. ASP.NET State Management Overview. Retrieved October 23, 2007. View State in ASP.NET. Archived from the original on October 14, 2007. Retrieved October 23, 2007. ASP.NET View State Overview. Encrypting View State in ASP.NET. Retrieved July 19, 2009. ASP.NET Master Pages Overview. Microsoft Developer Network. Global ASAX Syntax. ASP.NET Website Layout from MSDN. ASP.NET Directory Structure. 
McDonald and Spuster 2005, pages 7 to 8, How to Take Advantage of the IIS 7.0 Integrated Pipeline, Compatibility, Mono. Retrieved February 2, 2014.